Did you know that even the President of the United States can't go anywhere he wants? There are some places that are so secret and important that even the most powerful person in the world needs permission to enter. So, without further ado, let's get started. Number 10. DOE Labs. Department of Energy National Laboratories. Have you ever wondered what's behind the guarded gates of the Ministry of Energy National Laboratories? These secret facilities are home to some of the most cutting-edge scientific research in the world, and even the President of the United States can't enter without special permission. Inside the labs, scientists are working on everything from developing new ways to generate clean energy to creating new materials that could revolutionize manufacturing. They're also studying the mysteries of the universe and exploring new frontiers of science. One of the most amazing things about the National Labs is that they're open to everyone. Anyone can apply for a job or internship, and students can visit the labs to learn about science firsthand. But even if you're not a scientist, you can still enjoy the benefits of the National Labs' work. For example, the National Labs have developed many of the technologies that we use every day, such as MRI machines, solar panels, and computer chips. They're also working on new technologies to help us solve some of the world's biggest problems, like climate change and disease. So next time you're driving past one of the National Labs, take a moment to think about all the amazing things that are happening inside. These secret facilities are helping to make the world a better place, and even the President of the United States can't get in without special permission. Number 9. FBI HQ. Federal Bureau of Investigation HQ. Have you ever wondered what it's like inside the FBI headquarters? It's a place so secret that even the President of the United States can't enter without permission. The FBI HQ is located in a nondescript building in Washington, D.C. It's surrounded by high fences and security cameras. Inside, there are hundreds of agents working to protect our country from crime and terrorism. The FBI HQ is home to some of the most advanced technology in the world. There are listening devices that can pick up conversations from miles away, and cameras that can see in the dark. The FBI also has a team of experts who can crack the most complex codes. But the most important thing about the FBI HQ is its people. The agents who work there are some of the best and brightest in the country. They are dedicated to protecting our country from all threats. So what would happen if the President of the United States wanted to visit the FBI HQ? Well, he would first have to submit a request to the FBI Director. The Director would then review the request and decide whether or not to grant it. If the request is granted, the President would be given a tour of the FBI HQ by a senior agent. He would not be allowed to access any sensitive areas, and he would be accompanied by security at all times. Number 8. NSA HQ. National Security Agency HQ. Have you ever wondered what it's like inside the National Security Agency's headquarters? It's a place so secret, even the President of the United States can't enter without permission. NSA HQ is located in Fort Meade, Maryland, and it's surrounded by a high fence and barbed wire. There are guard towers and security cameras everywhere. Even the air is monitored for dangerous chemicals. Inside NSA HQ, there are thousands of computers and technicians working around the clock. They're responsible for collecting and analyzing all sorts of electronic communications, including phone calls, emails, and text messages. NSA HQ is so important because it helps the United States to protect itself from its enemies. By monitoring communications, the NSA can identify potential threats before they happen. But NSA HQ is also a controversial place. Some people worry that the NSA is collecting too much information about innocent people. Others worry that the NSA is spying on its own citizens. Despite the controversy, NSA HQ remains one of the most important and secretive places in the world. It's a place where the future of national security is being shaped. Imagine a place where the most powerful computers in the world are constantly listening to every phone call, email, and text message that's sent around the world. A place where the smartest people in the country are working day and night to protect us from danger. That's NSA HQ. Number 7. CIA HQ. Central Intelligence Agency HQ. Deep in the woods of Virginia, there's a place so secret that even the President of the United States can't enter without permission. It's the headquarters of the Central Intelligence Agency, or CIA, and it's the most mysterious and powerful organization in the world. CIA HQ is a fortress. It's surrounded by miles of barbed wire fences, security cameras, and armed guards. The buildings are made of concrete and steel, and they're packed with the latest spy technology. Inside CIA HQ, thousands of intelligence officers work day and night to keep America safe. 
They collect secrets from around the world, analyze them, and use them to prevent terrorist attacks, stop foreign spies, and protect our national security. But what goes on inside CIA HQ is a mystery. The agency is so secretive that it's hard to know what they're really up to. Some people say that they have mind control devices or that they can spy on anyone in the world. Others say that they're involved in all sorts of shady activities. But one thing is for sure, CIA HQ is a place of intrigue and suspense. It's a place where the fate of the world can be decided, and it's a place that even the most powerful people in the world can't enter without permission. Number 6. Senate Chamber. Upper House of Congress. Have you ever wondered where the most important decisions in our country are made? Well, they happen in a special place called the Senate Chamber. It's a secret place that even the President of the United States can't enter without permission. The Senate Chamber is the upper house of the United States Congress. It's where 100 senators from all 50 states meet to make laws and approve important appointments. The Senate Chamber is a very special place because it's where our democracy comes to life. The Senate Chamber is a beautiful room with high ceilings and red velvet curtains. It's also very grand and imposing. The senators sit in two rows facing each other, with the President of the Senate in the middle. The Senate Chamber is a place where important debates happen. Senators often disagree about the best way to solve problems, but they always listen to each other's ideas. The Senate Chamber is also a place where history is made. Many of the most important laws in our country have been passed in the Senate Chamber. So why can't the President of the United States enter the Senate Chamber without permission? It's because the Senate is supposed to be a place where the states can have a voice equal to that of the federal government. The president represents the entire country, but the senators represent the states. The Senate chamber is a secret place because it's where the senators can debate and vote on laws without interference from the president or anyone else. This is important because it allows the senators to represent the interests of their states without being influenced by other powerful people. Number 5. House Chamber. Lower House of Congress. The House Chamber is one of the most important rooms in the United States. It's where the House of Representatives meets to make laws for our country. But did you know that even the President of the United States can't just walk into the House Chamber whenever he wants? That's because the House Chamber is a sacred place where our elected representatives debate and vote on the laws that affect our lives. It's also a place where the American people can come together to see their government in action. So how does the President get into the House Chamber if he can't just walk in? Well, there's a special process that he has to follow. First, he has to send a message to the Speaker of the House asking permission to enter. Then, the Speaker has to give the President permission before he can come in. But even if the President does have permission to enter the House chamber, he still has to follow the rules. He can't speak during debate, and he can't vote on any bills. So why is the House chamber so special? It's because it's a place where the power of the people is made real. It's a place where our elected representatives come together to make decisions that affect our lives. And it's a place where we can all come together to see our government in action. Number 4. Supreme Court. Highest Court. Have you ever wondered what the most important court in the United States is? It's called the Supreme Court, and it's so important that even the President of the United States can't enter without permission. The Supreme Court is the highest court in the land, and it has the final say on all laws. It's made up of nine judges, who are appointed by the President and confirmed by the Senate. The judges serve for life, which means that they can make decisions about the law without having to worry about getting elected or re-elected. The Supreme Court hears cases from all over the country, and its decisions can have a big impact on our lives. For example, the Supreme Court has ruled on cases about abortion, school prayer, and same-sex marriage. So why can't the President of the United States enter the Supreme Court without permission? It's because the Supreme Court is supposed to be independent from the other branches of government. This means that the President and Congress can't interfere with the Supreme Court's decisions. The Supreme Court is a very important part of our democracy, and it's important to remember that it's the highest court in the land, even the President can't enter without permission. Number 3. Fed. Federal Reserve Board. The Fed is a very special place. It's so special, even the President of the United States can't enter without permission. That's because the Fed is responsible for managing the country's money supply and making sure the economy stays healthy. Inside the Fed, there are lots of smart people who use computers and lots of data to make decisions about how much money to print, how low to set interest rates, and other important things. These decisions can have a big impact on your life, even if you don't realize it. For example, if the Fed decides to print more money, that can cause prices to go up. This is because there is more money in circulation, so people have more money to spend. But if the Fed decides to print less money, that can cause prices to go down. 
The Fed also sets interest rates. Interest rates are the cost of borrowing money. When interest rates are low, it's cheaper to borrow money, which can encourage people to spend more money and invest in businesses. But when interest rates are high, it's more expensive to borrow money, which can discourage spending and investment. The Fed's decisions about money supply and interest rates can have a big impact on the economy. If the Fed makes the wrong decisions, it can cause a recession or even a depression. That's why the Fed's work is so important. Number 2. Pentagon U.S. Department of Defense HQ Have you ever heard of the Pentagon? It's the headquarters of the U.S. Department of Defense, and it's one of the most important buildings in the world. But did you know that even the President of the United States can't just walk into the Pentagon whenever he wants? That's because the Pentagon is a very secretive place. It's home to top secret information about the U.S. military and its operations around the world. So, to protect this information, the Pentagon has very strict security measures in place. One of the most important security measures at the Pentagon is that only authorized personnel are allowed to enter. This means that even the President of the United States needs to get permission from the Pentagon before he can go inside. Another important security measure at the Pentagon is that there are many different levels of security clearance. This means that some people are allowed to see more secret information than others. For example, the President has the highest level of security clearance, but even he doesn't have access to all of the secret information stored at the Pentagon. So, why is the Pentagon so secretive? It's because the U.S. military needs to be able to operate without its enemies knowing what it's doing. If the enemies knew what the U.S. military was planning, they could take steps to counter it. Number 1. Area 51. Secret Military Base. Deep in the Nevada desert lies a place so secret, even the President of the United States cannot enter. It's called Area 51, and it's one of the most mysterious places on the planet. No one knows exactly what goes on at Area 51, but it's rumored to be a top-secret military base where the government develops and tests new aircraft and weapons systems. Some people even believe that Area 51 is where the government keeps alien spacecraft and bodies. Area 51 is so secret that it's surrounded by barbed wire fences, armed guards, and even radar systems that can track intruders from miles away. But that hasn't stopped people from trying to get inside. Over the years, there have been many attempts to break into Area 51. Some people have even tried to fly over the base in hot air balloons or airplanes. But all of these attempts have failed. So what's so secret about Area 51? Why can't even the President of the United States enter? The government says that Area 51 is a top secret military base that is essential to national security. But some people believe that the government is hiding something more sinister at Area 51. Whatever the truth may be, Area 51 remains one of the most fascinating and mysterious places on Earth. It's a place where anything is possible and where the imagination can run wild. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. If you have suggestions for future videos, be sure to leave them in the comments below.